Oh, Shabbat Shalom, Senbet Salam, Tena Yistalin. This is the third Shabbat in our new cycle of Torah portion reading and feedings. And I am Wendem Yadin. And I want to go over the Torah portions. I, the Torah portion for this um, 31st of October to the 1st of November. And it's a very important time too because as I and I as Rastafari and Royal Ethiopians know, it's the coronation, the 84th actually as of this year, the 84th coronation of Moa Anbesa Zaim Negeri Yehuda, Kedamawi Haila Selase, Siyuma Egezi Aliher, Nugusa Negest Ze Ethiopia. The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, Hila Selassie I, elect of God, king of kings of Ethiopia. And it's very significant, this Torah portion right here that we know in the Hebrew as Lek Lika. Lek Lika. And it comprises Genesis, the basic Torah portion reading is Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to Genesis chapter 17, verse 27. The prophet, the prophet, the reading from the prophets of the Haftarah, right, reading for this third Shabbat, this third Senbet, this third Sabbath for October 31st to the 1st of November, one day preceding the Sunday, the Ehud, the first day, is the coronation day, the memorial metasebia of the coronation of the king of kings of Ethiopia upon the throne of David. I and I, great father Abraham. And this is what's significant about this Torah portion. Now Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40 verses 27 to Isaiah chapter 41, verse 16, is the Haftarah, or the Torah, the prophet's reading. So we have the reading from the law, the Torah, which is Genesis 12 and 1 to Genesis 17 and 27. Then from the prophets, the law and the prophets, the prophet's reading is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 27, to Isaiah chapter 41, verse 16. Now, all of this reference and information you can find available online for free at RastafariGroundation.com and just go to the resource reference. You know, you'll, you'll see it right there on the side. On the right-hand side is the, is the, the Torah portion for, for, the, for the strong or what, they will call the weekly Torah portion or the strong Torah readings, those strong Torah portions for that particular from Sunday or the Ehud, which is the first day, to the Shabbat day, which is the seventh day. So in this particular seven days, beginning from the previous uh, Sunday, Lek Leka, this particular Torah portion reading is what is studied and should be studied by all the faithful brothers and sisters during the, the strong or during the week from Sunday, the first day to the Shabbat day, which is the seventh day or Kedame, as we say, the Amarinya. Amen. Now, we also have the Adis Kidan, right? The Adis Kidan. And the Hadith Kidan or the Burt Chadasha is the New Testament reading. Right? The New Testament reading. And we have three particular New Testament readings right here. And you can check the, the Torah portion, the scheduled readings. And we're at the third one, right? When Romans chapter 4, verse 1 to 25, Galatians chapter 4, verses 21 to Galatians 5 and 1, and Hebrews chapter 7. So on the Shabbat day or on the eve, it's the Berit Chadasha because on the Ihud, the first day of Sunday or earlier in the in the week, right, beginning from the Sunday is when we will begin the new Torah portion readings from the law, the prophets, and coming up 
to and on the Shabbat, which is the eve of Friday and the day of Saturday, is the New Testament, the Berit Chadasha reading. And like you said, like I said, this is a very important time for us because the 84th Metasebiya Memorial of the Coronation of the King of Kings. And this Torah portion in its context and the essence, it coincides with the central theme and the idea. Now, the Amarinya and the Amharic in the Metaf Kedus of Negus and Neges, we call this Teleite Wutta, right? Teleite Wutta, to separate and come out, to be separate and to come out. Now, this Torah portion reading and feeding, and we're going to quote liberally from Hebrew for Christians and the weekly Torah reading, the Parashat Lech Lecha, go forth yourself. According to the Hebrew, it can be translated as go forth yourself. And this comprises the call of Abram and Sarai. Abram and Sarai. Right? Last week, so the last strongs or read Torah portion was the Parashat Noach or Noch, Noah. And this showed how Yahweh, yod Hey wa Hey, he who be, who he be, how he miraculously preserved Noch and his family, those eight souls from the cataclysmic judgment of the great flood. Just as there were 10 generations from Adam to Noch, and the Holy Spirit wants me to say this right here, and we look at how Noah was preserved. We also see in the time of the King of Kings, in his times, we black peoples, the lost found sheep of the Beta Israel, the redeemed Beta Ethiopian Hebrew Israelitish nation, and the elect Rastafari, how we also were preserved. Many don't really maybe see that, and this is the job, this is our call, right? Our call to, to make the good news of the King of Kings clear the message of salvation to to redeem the name of the king of kings and redeem his good news because there has been much misrepresenting of the character of the king of kings of the character of god of the character of the righteous so this torah portion is the call of avram and sarai and some of you might recall we had actually touched on uh uh, Empress series just recently where we touched on certain matters concerning um, our our queen mother um, Kedamawit Waleta Georgis right Kedamawit Waleta Georgis or Etege Menin and what the king of kings said of her and he made that comparison to Abraham and Sarah right so I wanted to just point that out to see the connection, right? And see the revelation and see the, see the, um, the revelation, the revelation, you know what I mean? The revelation, right? And when you see it for yourself, then you can testify. Now, Yahweh, he miraculously preserved Noch and his family, those eight from the cataclysmic judgment of the great flood. And in the times of the King of Kings, there was a flood as well, a flood of ungodliness, a flood of, of genocide, a flood of downpression of the lost found black sheep of the house of Israel at home, but especially abroad in the diaspora, the Americas and the Caribbean or the Caribbean. So just as there were 10 generations from Adam to Noch, so there were also 10 generations from Noch to Abram. So from Adam to Noah, there were 10 generations. And from Noah to Abram, there were 10 generations. And just as Noch, Noah, became the father of 70 nations, and this is also significant with the coronation of the king of kings, which is coming up on Ehud, the first day, and that will be when we begin to study and focus our attention on the fourth Shabbat Torah portion, Vayera or Tegeletelet, and he appeared. 
and he appeared. Waiera, right? Waiera, Waiere, Waiere, like Yere, like Jehovah Jireh, Yahweh Yere, and he appeared, right? So that's interesting that the November 2nd in this blood moon time with these heavenly signs would align with the coronation, the 84th coronation of the King of Kings. And on the Ehud or the first day known among the Gentiles as Sunday, this is when we would begin the fourth uh, Torah portion reading and feeding, uh, Yere or And He Appeared to Galet Alet. All right, so we'll touch on that as well, y'all willing, right? So we see this, um, we see this um, almost like a, uh, a synergy, you know, uh, uh, maybe that's not the right word, but this, this, it's a harmony, right? It's a harmony of both today, yesterday, and even forward, ever, backward, never. Now, Abram, he would become, right? Abram would become the father of the Hebrew and the Israelite, right? The Israelite people, right? The Yehuda ish, right? The Judah ish people. And so we see this connection with Moa and Bessazem, Negeti Yehuda, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. I and I, Abraham, the father of the redeemed Beta Ethiopian Hebrew Israelitish nation and the elect Rastafari people through whom the promised seed, the Moshiach, the savior of the world, the Medane, the Medhane Alem would eventually come. Speaking of Abram from the old covenant, right? Now this is interesting because in this week's Torah portion, Right, lek leka, tele te wuta, be separate and come out, separate and come out. Abram, he was 75 years old. He was married to his half sister Sarai, right? And he was the guardian of his nephew Lot or Lot, his uh, deceased brother Haran's or Karan's lich, Haran's son whom he received the promise of divine heritage, when he received this promise, right, of the divine, the Ivine inheritance, and he left Mesopotamia for the promised land. And Yahweh said to Avram, Leklika, go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. In Hebrew, the phrase lek leka, it means go for yourself. It has a sense of go for yourself. Literally to, to walk, right? To walk for yourself, right? To walk for yourself. Now, the Memheran, you know, the scholars and the the, the Rebbe or the rabbis or the sages, they interpret it to mean to go, right? Go to yourself, right? In the sense of look within yourself, right? Look within the I self, in the innermost of the innocence in order to begin walking out your own journey into the promises, right? into the confident expectation of good in the King of Kings through HaMushiach, I and I, Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now the realm of the Ivine promise, the test for the hope, the expectation of good in the King of Kings, right? And in the spirit of Yeshua HaMushiach, I and I, Black Christ, is only attained when we venture out in faith, in our main, in admittance, right? In truth. Like our father Abraham, we likewise, I and I and we likewise are called to leave everything behind and to go forth 
be'emnet, in faith, to take hold of Yahweh's, of Elohim, Kedemawi Hala Selassie's glorious promise for I and I lives and I and I liberty. Amen, amen. Little more to come. I just wanted to, to touch on the overview, looking forward, looking ahead for this Rastafari Shabbat, this third Shabbat as we fulfill the the Shavua, the the oath or the sevens, right? The 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 Sheba, the Shuva, the 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 the, the covenant. You can say fulfilling this oath in this sevens right here. This is the Shabbat day, and then in this particular time right here, 2014, this blood moon year. It's interesting because the 31st, you know, is is folly is folly ween. Right, it's Folly Ween and Folly Queen, right, or so-called Halloween, right. But then, if you over from the ancient church, there's the All Saints Day, and if you check out what we had uh, addressed on Cain and Nicodemus in the book of the Gospel of Nicodemus and Yeshua's the the Black Messiah's descent, Black Christ descend into hell to lift up the 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 patriarchs who had faith. Right, many of our ancestors have longed to see I and I day, right? As many had longed to see the day of I and I Godfather, the King of Kings, Kedemawi Hale Selassie, nearly 84 years ago in that acceptable year of Yahweh, he who be, who he be, his divine majesty, 1930 AD, prophecy revealed. So, my brothers and sisters, stay tuned. Y'all willing more to come? Any further information you might need so that you can also um, um, co co disciple, co study, and and co labor. You know, in the good news and receive and receive the half of the story, but the fullness of the barakat, the blessing. Then go to Rastafari. Groundation.com. Check the resource center. Also, the right hand side of the page for the Torah portion reading and feeding. Some important links as well are provided at the website. And be sure to sign up, subscribe here. Be sure to repost, retweet this video or any of the other videos, or even to download them and put them out for others who don't have access to this particular means of communication. This this is how we share in the King of Kings, because truly sharing is caring in the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ. I and I am Black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. So, Beshem Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua, Shalom Rastafari, Shabbat Shalom, Senbet Salam, Tena Yisterling. This is Wendem Yadin reporting for the line of the Tribe of Judah Society.